so next is a discussion of the Financial Task Force 2 update. So you, 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 you yeah, want to so, so um, summarize and I'll provide sure, some color? Sure, the superintendent and I have um, felt that we should give kind of a dual kind of update to each board, the school committee and obviously the select board. So I, we wrote up, uh, John wrote up a brief uh, memo um, and I'd like to read it so the public could kind of hear okay. what's going on. So the Financial Task Force 2 is the follow-up committee to the Financial Task Force 1. The Financial Task Force 1 committee met from 2013 to 2014 to outline the financial planning strategies for the town of Belmont. This includes forecasting a five-year plan and outlined the revenues and expenditures that make up the town's budget. This work was the backbone of the 2014 operating override that the town has benefited from over the past 2015. five years. Yeah, 2015. Similar to the Financial Task Force 1, the Financial Task Force 2 committee is made up of elected officials from the Select Board, School Committee, members of the Warrant Committee, Capital Budget Committee, as well as the Town Treasurer and members of the School Department, myself, um, and a couple other m members of my department. The first meeting of the Financial Task Force Committee was on December 10, 2018, and the group has been meeting consistently for over a year. To review the Financial Task Force 1 report and work completed, review the financial assessment conducted by the Collins Center, who was hired by the town with a grant to provide feedback on Belmont's financial planning process, and the Financial Task Force 2 group took those recommendations from the Collins Center and customized the tool to blend in the town's planning process. The Financial Task Force 2 committee supported the work of the schools and the town on the FY21 budget process and will continue to meet and discuss the strategy for the five-year town school budget plan. In order for the town and community to be more informed, the school committee and the select board will be updating the work of the Financial Task Force 2 committee over the next few months. So this is something that we um, were asked to put on the agenda every select board meeting to give an update from the Financial Task Force. The other thing I wanted to mention that Chris has been working with um, Belmont Media is they're going to be segmented and parceled out. So if somebody wants a full update for every meeting, they can just kind of watch it continuously and they don't have to watch I was and I was a select board meetings to get to it. Oh. <laughs> That's a good idea. Hey, wouldn't you have a timeline when we're going to hear from them? The Financial Task Force 2? Like so a we're currently working on what the override number is. Mm -hmm. we're, we're still kind of narrowing that down. I think we have a, a probably a month worth of work left on that. And once we have that, we'll be updating at town meeting. Yep. And I think from there. We're getting an yeah, update. So I would say the next couple of uh, meetings of the financial task force <laughs> will be specifically around the five-year financial plan um, and to put a little context around that we're working with the schools as well as each of the town departments uh, to understand what a level services budget looks like and level services the concept there it's about not necessarily level funding but what level of funding is required to maintain the level of services mm -hmm. uh, which is particularly relevant in the schools with the growing enrollment you know you need to increase the budget just to maintain level services as well as what is the kind of desire of uh, the various different town departments um, to continue to further improve their uh, their programs and uh, their offerings to the community we're going to put all of that together into ultimately a five-year plan which is sort of a, a base case and then ultimately uh, a broader uh, a broader ask for the community uh, to consider so that work happens over the next month or so and I would say around the end of February we need to find time to sit down with this group and provide a more detailed rundown of sort of where we are and, and have a dis uh, more detailed discussion so and to add to that so my office developed a matrix for each department to fill out and it's listing their top five priorities and how they suggest um, deal addressing those needs that they need in their department uh, and uh, cost and then we are going to plug that in and look to see if what the impact is for a five-year um, forecast so and then the task force is going to take that information and kind of whittle down the, the priorities and see what's really needed and go from there so. so Tom what is the work product from the committee is it a spreadsheet or a written report or multiple. A memo or? there'll be multiple work products so I say the near-term work product is going to be a, a spreadsheet but but probably well with some summary uh, assumptions as to what goes into that mm -hmm. and the choices that were uh, elected in various different scenarios so you can take a look at that and then what ultimately will be uh, kind of the, the cul culmination of the efforts will be a selected sort of five-year recommendation um, guidance to this group uh, obviously with some input along the way as to what uh, size override 
um, uh, would be recommended, and then some specific set of recommendations for things that we would like to recommend and encourage the town to address in the next in the coming years. Whether or not that be specific initiatives around revenue, costs, or sort of and then length otherwise. of of time, we feel the override will cover. I think that's a great point. Right now, the we're amount as well as the structure. Right, of the, the way the matrix works right now, it's five years. And obviously, that's going to have to be discussed and, and kind of nar narrowed down a little bit because obviously we can't fund everything. So, but the first product for this group to engage around will be uh, basically uh, spreadsheets, spreadsheets and right. scenario planning. Yeah. Okay. Job opportunities. Looking forward to it. Yeah, big it's, work. Uh, it, it is. It is big work, and uh, I think we're going to have uh, a lot of community education to do over the next, you know, whatever it is, ten months leading up to November. And our uh, kind of commitment is both at the school committee as well as the select board uh, meetings to provide updates regularly as to the status to start to begin that education process. Yeah. Good. Well, thanks for doing the work. Absolutely.